Everyone, welcome to another exciting, comics-loving edition of Words, Images, and Worlds. On this episode, I'm delighted to be talking with writer and artist Chris Nye. Chris, thank you for joining and also bringing your art table with you as well. Thanks so much, Jason, and I really appreciate the invite. Really been looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, likewise, absolutely. And uh, I know that we're talking about the world of Heroes Union, but you have some other exciting projects on the way by means of some classic characters and uh, also some work that you're exploring in your own universe you're creating. So glad to talk about all of those things today on the episode. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, yeah, fun, fun. Yeah. Uh, so by means of a, an origins question, all, all comic book characters have an origin. And of course, all creators do, too. Uh, curious about what captivated you with comics and how you knew this was the space that you wanted to create in. Well, I guess it, it really all starts with my father, who uh, himself was a, a journalist and worked in media but he also just loved pop culture. So I was born in 1965. And that same year, my dad had just started as a newspaper editor. He went on to work as a sports editor and then an entertainment editor for many years. But he also produced a TV show on B Westerns called Those Six Gun Heroes. He wrote a book on that that was published. He did some stuff for the History Channel in regards to film history, but he also had a love of comics, music, just pop culture in general. And he had a huge golden and early Silver Age collection the day I was born. So literally by like 1967, 68, I'm being bombarded by, by, uh, by, by pop culture and comics. And uh, I'd say by 70, 71, I was already buying them. And, uh, you know, I'd, dad was a writer who had an interest in art, and I was sort of uh, becoming an artist that had an interest in writing. So mm -hmm. we were both into the same things, but kind of leaning in different directions, but, but liking the combination. So one, one of dad's many, many hardback books, in addition to his comics, was, was Jules Pfeiffer, the, you know, the uh, Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist and uh, comic book historian. He had a book called Those The Great Comic Book Heroes that actually literally came out the year I was born and dad <laughs> bought that. So like I, I'd say from age, at least age three, I was looking at that book and, and it, you know, to this day, it's why I still love the golden age of comics so much, but it made a huge, just huge impact on, on me. And I particularly remember the Spectre story and that and how impactful and frightening it was i think it was i later discovered i think it was from all-star comics number one and uh there was will eisner was in that also about the same time i was getting exposed through dad again to carl barks and his donald duck work uh -huh. So, you know, I think uh, through all of those things, uh, the power of the combination of writing and art just you know, it really drew me in. And, and uh, soon I started looking at things off the stands. John Romita became my first big hero as a kid. I just I didn't understand why at that time I loved this stuff so much. Um, I, I, I later figured out what was what it was I loved so much about it. But. I, all I knew was I loved it. And, uh, and, and the, you know, as Will Eisner, who did the spirit said, there is no really any medium quite like it. Like when comics try to imitate movies or vice versa, they can't quite do it because, which is a good thing because it's the uniqueness of each medium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so comics do do something that you just can't quite do anywhere else. And I think it's that something that, really drew me in and I just 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 loved the whole concept and the idea of trying to create a story through pictures and words and have people care and love those characters yeah no, well I'm curious about your work on as I mentioned Heroes Union and what your uh, experience on that title has been like well that's been just just absolutely wonderful it's definitely an honor to have even been uh drawn in uh, it was uh, artist ron friends was the first one to contact me he actually had seen my work and of course i was floored because ron's work obviously anyone who sees my work knows he's obviously one of my big inspirations 
just just like Sal, Sal Biasino and some of the other artists that he was following were also uh, many sources and inspiration for me and women and the roots they had are as well. Um, so to follow in that chain was just, uh, I mean, I just was, it was just wonderful. And, uh, uh, and then, uh, you know, David Michelini and, uh, Roger Stern, uh, were involved in that, uh, Glenn Whitmore, the colorist. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. was like an all-star lineup and to be asked to join that, I, I just, just was amazed and floored, but I really thought the chemistry could work because I knew what I was trying to do. And, and they seemed to understand that as well. And I have to also mention publisher Darren Henry, who works out of Santa Monica publishing Soot comics and who put out heroes union and puts out blue Baron that Ron does. And he is, is in our age group and he really gets it. Like he really is trying to bring back that traditional kind of storytelling to comics that we've been missing for a while. So, uh, and, and I've talked to Darren several times and we definitely share the same, same vision there. So, uh, you know, I thought it was a match made in heaven. I love it. Uh, you know, hopefully we're going to get this second issue out soon. It got delayed a bit, but I think they're back on track and it's looking good. So, uh, yeah, it, it was just a, a great experience and a great learning experience, too, just seeing, you know, how those guys actually interact and what the process is, you know, from storyboards to thumbnails to final artwork and, and getting the story laid down. Yeah, uh, definitely a, a great, great learning experience, too, for me. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, you mentioned that you have your own sort of work that you're exploring as well as some uh, work in the world of classic comics by means of some creators that people out there will know. Uh, anything that you'd like to mention about that? Well, uh, yeah, I should mention uh, uh, Jesse Simon, Joe, Joe Simon's grandson, the co-creator of Captain America with Jack Kirby of the old Simon and Kirby team. Uh, Jesse contacted me, I guess it was about three or four weeks ago. And uh, I'm going to be doing uh, 10 covers for his line of comics. And he's got rights to several old Simon and Kirby characters, such as Stuntman, sort of a revised version of the old Shield character they have, and some other exciting titles that, uh, again, I think it, it fits right in with, with my approach and, and, and talking to Jesse, he seems again, another person that seems to be on, on that same vibe of bringing tradition back. And so it does seem to be in talking to several of these people, that's a trend that seems to be coming back around again and has been for a while. And, uh, and that, it's great to see, it's good just to see variety out there and giving people choices. And that's what you want is a variety of, things on the stands that people can choose from and if there's a particular style they can find it so yeah yeah absolutely absolutely love that and uh, always interested to hear about the the creative journey and um, collaborations that have been especially important to you as well as supporters yeah well uh you know you know I, one of the I've, I've told this story to a few people but one of the great moments of my life was meeting joe Sennett. Uh, uh -huh. great anchor at marvel who again if you look at my work you know you can see he was he was along with john ramita they were my two big inking heroes and uh, of course i later found out who inspired them people like milton kniff and noble sickles and those guys um all, all of which inspire me as well but those two were the two that first directly inspired me and uh i got to meet joe Sennett. Uh, years ago when I had a table at the Heroes Convention, I was sitting in with my first comics collaborator that I ever worked with other than myself, Chad Bowers, who now writes for Marvel. He, he would have, but at the time he was working in independent publishing and I was doing some art for a couple of his projects and a couple of his titles. Uh, but anyway, Joe Sennett was at this convention and he... Uh, saw some of my work from my very first diamond distributed book called Brother Destiny. I did a couple of issues of that in around 2003. That was actually my first kind of foray into actual published comics. Um, 
anyway, Joe saw my work and called me over to his table and uh, which uh, somebody came and got me and said, Hey, Joe Sennett wants to see you. And I was kind of like, <laughs> so, what? you sure you got the right guy? Cause I knew he was there. And, and I, I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I ought to buy the room, <laughs> but he actually <laughs> called me over. And of course, anybody I know, as I found out since then, anybody who's met him knows that he's just, he was just a great, terrific guy. And he, actually had me sit down with him for about an hour at his table and and to the exclusion of everything else and just sat there with me and you know it, it was just a casual conversation but in it it was a lot of tips a lot of direction he was like you know really like what you're doing here's some things you can do because I, I know what you're doing with the brush and the inking here and and you know try this and try this and throw more black, more black, more black. I remember him saying that. And uh, he, he was just a terrific guy. And it, and it just, you know, after that hour or so with him, I walked away just so inspired. Um, you know, people may not realize what that can really mean to an artist. And, and I've not forgotten that whenever anyone young asks me something, how, how much that can really matter. Just even one word of encouragement, because you're, you're not sure you may be good. You may not, you don't know. And sometimes you just need somebody like that to say, Oh yeah, you're on the right track. Just keep doing it. You know, you, you know, try this and this, but yeah, you, you got it, you know, and that's basically what it was like. And it, it just was huge. And uh, and then the other one was getting collaborate with Ron Friends at Hero Union. That that was, you know, uh, you know as I told Ron, it, it just had been an honor. And you know, I, I couldn't think of there's no nobody else in the industry today I would have rather been called up by to work with. I mean, that 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 would actually would have been my choice even before I had heard from him. I, I would have would have absolutely picked him. Um, just. Uh, just seeing the process of, and I was already doing this, but there were, there's always little things as an artist or storyteller that you can pick up on. And the process of seeing thumbnails, using those to go to a larger and final artwork and how that process works and where you can improvise here and there and where maybe you shouldn't, you know, some of that I delved into, but to be able to really collaborate with somebody like that and see the step-by-step -step process and how it develops was exciting and very uh, educational. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so those are probably the two biggest, biggest events of my comic book life, I would say. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very fortunate, very happy, very happy. Love it, love it. Yeah, uh, of course. I'm curious about where people can go to to see your work, be it social media, um, web spaces from publishers, uh, anything like that that you'd like to mention, as well as convention spaces. Yes. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can always uh, find me on first of all on Facebook. Uh, there's I think there's only a few Chris Nyes out there, but look for the one in South Carolina. And I'm it's I, I'm obviously an artist when you see it. So you'll you can find me there pretty easily. Also, I'm on Instagram. Uh, I have a uh, uh, a website uh, at Chris Nye Art. Uh, let, let me just double check this uh, web address for you here. I want to be sure I'm correct about this because this is. I just revised that. Um, yeah, it's chrisnyart.com. Uh, if you if you go there, you'll have a, you'll have a portfolio of information about getting commissions and a little bio and anything anyone wants to know is right there on the website. So that that alone will direct them there. Um, where you will be directed if you're curious to go and go there is Cat Skills Comics. I just joined their group. They they manage uh, artists like like Ron Friends and uh, uh, Glenn Whitmore and uh, and some other established artists. Uh, in fact, Joe Sennett's family is associated with them. So that's where all my commission work it goes through Catskill Comics. Now I just actually connected with them in recent weeks. So that has started. So I've officially opened up for commissions. I was kind of closed for a few years, so people may. Be curious to know I'm open for that now. Um, great, great. So that's that's up and rolling. And then Sit Comics also, if you want to check them out, there at sitcomics.net. 
or not, not com, but dot net. So, uh, and you can go there and see their, their latest. I, I'm currently penciling and inking Heroes Union number two, sort of under Ron's art direction and layout. So, um, so that's, that's ongoing. There's some digital downloads on that issue already available and the print is coming in the future. So those are probably the main uh, internet connections for me at the moment. And uh, convention spaces as well? Uh, nothing at n yet. Uh, I just, uh, uh, as I say, connected with Catskill, so it's possible that that could come about down the road. Um, but uh, for now, yeah, I'm just uh, getting, getting things rolling from here in my studio. And uh, hopefully uh, after doing some shows last year, I will, I will be at a few. And as soon as, and that's, and that's another thing about Facebook um, anything like that, I always announce immediately as awesome. soon as possible. Same way with Instagram, Facebook and Instagram, all convention appearances of any kind, I will definitely have available for people to see as soon as possible. Well, well Chris, I greatly appreciate the time. I appreciate the work and the collaboration and uh, glad to have you back anytime. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for the invite and I always enjoy talking comics. So, yeah. All right. All right. I, I do as well. So glad to talk with you this time and uh, maybe somewhere down the line as well. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Jason.